Hey guys, my name is Daryl, and today in this video, I wanna share with you five things that you should do before you get your first client for web design. I myself did web design for many years, and I learned a lot of my problems through trial and error. So I wanna make sure that you don't run into the same problems like I did. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, make sure you have a professional website. The number one reason why people don't choose your services is image. Ask yourself, if I brought 1 million people to your website tomorrow, what would their reaction be? By creating a professional website, you can drastically increase the number of clients and also get more referrals. Compare yourself with your competitors' websites and see how you can improve your design to come out on top. Remember, image is everything, so create something amazing. Number two, create a pricing model that people can't refuse. In web design, there's so many different ways on how you can price your web design services, and this might lead to a designer lowering the price in order to make a sale. Personally, I like to do 50% down, 25% when almost done, and then 25% upon completion model because that will protect you from laggy clients. Plus, with 50% down, the client has committed and will be more likely to stay with you. Never ask for all the money up front because they don't trust you, and never ask for too little because then they might leave. If the client can't afford the services, then perhaps you have the wrong client, so never feel afraid to walk away from the clients. Pricing is important, so create something that can be beneficial to both parties. Number three, create an online contract. Everyone hates this stuff, but by creating an online contract, you protect yourself from future disputes with your clients. This gives the client protection as much as yourself to help both parties understand what will be included in the work. I have a video on this, so if you want to know more about it, you can watch the video in the description below. I also find that contracts will help you protect yourself against chargebacks, so you can have some sort of documentation to show merchants if that ever happens. So protect yourself, make a contract. Number four, create an amazing proposal. Proposals give the client a representation of yourself and your business, so I can't stress how important these are. By having a rock star proposal, this is your only chance to convince the client that they are safe with you and that you know what you're doing. Many leads are lost due to poor proposals and just not including enough information. Personally, I make my proposals so professional that I want the client to feel dumb if they don't take my service. So before you spend a dollar on marketing, make sure you have something to show your client that would make them feel lucky that they got your service. Number five, managing your clients. Your clients are busy people and don't always have time for phone calls and they don't really want to keep dealing with their website all the time. This is actually something good for you. By using a service like ManageWP, you can send detailed reports of what's going on with your client's website without the hassle of calling them. You can send detailed reports of their website and progress that will make the client feel more secure and happy that they went with your services. Keep in mind, your clients have jobs too, but you also need to keep them informed at the same time. Remember, the less they call you, the better. So remember, don't nag your clients, but just keep them in the loop of what's going on and when they can expect their website to be completed. Thanks for watching my video. Let me know in the comments if this video worked for you and if you'd like to see more videos like this. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you guys in the next video.